Well, Paul, you've just uh, been delivered the uh, the fixture list for the new season. Your initial thoughts? Yeah, I, I can't complain. Um, you know, obviously, you look at the, the long trips that we've got this year. They all seem to be um, getting them out of the way in, in the summer months, uh, which is nice. Uh, I'll be at some, you know, one or two of them are, are midweek, but um, everyone's got to do the travelling. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with them. Uh, like I say, we, we've got to play everyone at some time anyway, but. Uh, you know, the, the beginning and the end of, uh, of them are, are really good. Bath City first up at home, a little bit of symmetry seen as the uh, game, the last game last season was away from home against Bath City. Yeah, I, once again, I, you know, I, I went down to see Bath quite a number of times down at their place last season and uh, they, they'll be, you know, they'll be a useful outfit. So it'll be, I think it'll be a really tough game, really, really tough first game for us. But once again, you know, we've got to play everyone, so, uh, you know, no matter which way people came or went, we've got to play everyone. A word on the festive period, York City, home and away. Disappointed you haven't got a ultra-local derby like against Alfreton or perhaps Grimsby or Lincoln? Yeah, I, th I think I think you prefer something a little bit closer, but I mean, what, you know, you look at it, what a cracking fixture. Um, you know, it'd be, it'd be a really good fixture, so uh, both games I would have thought there'd be a decent cracking uh, for both games. Um, but yeah, yeah, obviously you'd have preferred somewhere a little bit closer uh, than York on, on New Year's Day, but um, we've just got to get on with that. And let's just finish with a look at the bottom of the fixture list. Uh, well, it could be better, it could be worse, I suppose. Happy with that? Yeah, like I say, the, the beginning and the end. You know, I mean, I, I, a lot of people tend to look at the early parts of the season and uh, see see who you've got in the early part. I always look at the end to see, you know. Um, to see what we've got in, in, a, in a running, so uh, but yeah, it's, it, I think uh, you, you've got to be pleased with, with the fixture list that we've, we've been given. Kidderminster Harry is away on the last day. You need to get promoted. Confident you could go there and get a win. I think Steve will, uh, Steve Burr will have something to say about that. But uh, yeah, if we need to go away and get a result, um, I mean, what, what what a what a feeling that would be if we need to go there and get a result to to, to be successful uh, at the end of the season. Um, like I say, um, Steve's done a fantastic job. At, Kidderminster, and I'm sure he'll have he'll have other thoughts in his mind. Let's come on to your squad. Trialists, I believe, are uh, here at the moment training. Can you tell us any more about who potentially is going to be trialling with you over the next few weeks? Oh, we, we've got a number. Uh, well, I would say we've got a number. We've, we've got about sort of ten trialists. Um, now, the trialists are made up of, uh, if, if I'm going to be totally honest, of, of young players, young pros that have been released by big league clubs. Um, obviously, we want to run the rule over them. Um, we'll be doing that in, in the Renneth game. Uh, it'll be a, a team um, made up of, uh, of trialists for that game. With uh, I want to have a look at one or two of the under 19s, some, some of the local boys here, because uh, I'm mindful of the fact that we've got an under 19s, and, and I, if, if lads are good enough, um, you know, then they're old enough. So, uh, but yeah, we, what we want to do is make a, a good, well, a quick decision. On the lads, I don't want to be. I want to, you know, ten trialists here for, for the, all the pre-season and, and just sat on the backsides while some of the bigger games are, are going off. Um, but yeah, there's, there's been one or two good players. There's been one or two showed showed uh, quite quite a bit of something. And uh, but you never know until until the, the proper football starts. Any chance of pushing you on a name or two? Well, there's no really big names in, in terms of the trialists. Um, you know, we've had a we've had three or four from the, you know well, we had a lad called Bennett that um, you know he, he was at Barnsley. He sat on Barnsley's bench four times last season. Um, you know, if I'm honest, I think he scored goals in, in Barnsley's first team last season. I think he scored one or two goals. Um, you know, he, he's one to look out for. Um, but no, there's no there's no what I would call big names in there. These are just lads that I think would would complement the squad. Um, and uh, you know, we're going to give him. The, Biggest opportunity, uh, well, the, an opportunity to try and to try and become a Mansfield Town player. You've had your first opportunity to get your side together for the first time in pre-season. I know it's very early doors at the moment. Do you think you've got a good chemistry yet in the side? I think I think there's a, there's a nice gel. If I'm honest, it, it takes. If, if you look at uh, the scenario of this season, um, I've had to put together a squad. Uh, get them to, to gel, uh, not just as, as individuals, but as, as, as teammates. Um, I'm mindful of the fact that that, takes, that sometimes takes quite a bit of time. But I've been really impressed with, um, you know, the, the, the team sort of spirit already at, at the club. Um, you know, and uh, I, th I think what's, what's, what's really impressed me more than anything is, is just the willingness of the lads to get along with each other and, and to work for each other. Saying that, everything in, in pre-season has been 
with the, with the team ethic. The, the lads have worked in smaller groups that have uh, progressed into larger groups. So the onus is, is on, um, not just lads winning a, a running session, but on the group winning a, uh, winning a running session. So, uh, but the, the, the team spirit's coming together. Uh, you know, we are going to add, uh, there's going to be more players coming into the side, uh, well, into the squad, and uh, the quicker we can get them to gel, the better. Trial is uh, here at the moment. What about transfers? Quoted in one local newspaper as having an offer turned down from Eastwood for AD Halls. Can you tell us any more about that potential signing? No, I've, I've spoke uh, regarding AD. Uh, I've spoke to Eastwood and uh, there's nothing concrete been, been put on the table yet. Um, AD's got a very good player. Uh, he's been on trial at Motherwell uh, and, and other clubs along those sort of lines. Um, but as, as, as well as talking to Eastwood, I'm, I'm talking to a million one other clubs regarding other players. So um, in the local media, it's going to come out. I'm always going to be linked with, with, with players that I've worked with before. But you know, um, once again, I'm mindful of the fact that there's, there's a lot of other players out there that, that, that I'm talking to. So uh, I don't want to put my eggs in one basket um, and just just go for one player. They, they say there's plenty out there that uh, you know that, uh, that are good players. So AD's a good player. Um, would I like to bring him to the club? Yeah, I think he's a, he's, a, he's a fabulous talent that I think, you know, when you look at the likes of Naylor, um, he's very much in that category where the, the club, you know, after a season could could, uh, could could sell the kid on into the Football League. Um, but no, there's, there's been nothing concrete as, as of yet. So will there be any first team players going on Saturday? Do you need to look at any Yeah, there'll be, there'll, be, there'll be some. Um, there'll, there'll be one or two. Um, but obviously, I, I've, got to, I've got to make... Um, well, if I'm honest, because on, on Saturday, believe it or not, I'm, I'm at a wedding. So M Mickey's going to be uh, right. making a, uh, well, not making a decision because the lads aren't going to be told after the game. It'll yeah. be probably another week. Um, there might be a behind closed doors game to, to dot the I's and cross the T's. But I've, I've, I've been at every training so long. I've took the majority of sort of the sessions um, you know, with me. So we know really, roughly what lads can do. It's just you want to see them in a game scenario. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, the, the Renth game will be a tough game for them. Mm. You know, some of these lads that have just come out of the football league at reserve level, haven't played a lot of first team games, will drop down to that level and, and, and sometimes they can turn their nose up at it. Mm. And some of these lads at, at that level of football are wildly old characters and <laughs> they, they'll, they'll, give them a, they'll give them a tough game. And knowing Billy as I do, uh, I mean, Billy's a Mansfield lad, isn't he, Billy Miller? So, um, you know, he, he'll have the lads uh, chomping at the pit against us. So, yeah, it'll be a tough game, but like I say, uh, the Nuneaton game after that will be, will be the one where. I think realistically, we I want to go to that game and play two 11s, um, probably two systems with, with two different teams, if I'm honest, and just so everyone comes into the whatever the team is picked against, Notts County, everybody's not. I don't want players injured in that because that's going to test us physically, mentally. <coughs> I don't want lads to go into that game and um, and pull up with any sort of injuries. Everyone's everyone left 45 minutes under the belt in terms of the, the squad, the, the yeah. squad that have signed contracts. So.